hello lovely people welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new thank you so so much for being here this is my first kind of proper week in the new studio space if you don't know what i'm talking about i completely redid the studio over the last couple of weeks i have a brand new space it's fresh clean organized it is just so much better there is a video of the transformation it's the previous video on my channel and it just feels so good being in here it is wednesday i've been working away on a kickstarter which i'm going to be talking to you about in just a minute but i haven't really had that much to show you so i'm just picking up the camera now because I actually have things to share with you now. I got some more organisation boxes for the shelving. I still need to kind of rejig the shelving, work out where I'm putting things. There's a lot of kind of trial and error, I think, with those shelving of working out what things go best in which boxes, where the boxes best go, things like that. I also mismeasured mis the boxes, which is a little bit annoying. But anyway, it's so much better than it was. I'm so, so happy in here. I just feel fresh. My brain feels clearer and it's just really, really nice. So yeah, please check out the previous video if you want to see the kind of transformation and what the office looked like before. I need to add some more photos down here so that we've got a little bit more of a look behind me when I sit here. This is my sofa. You can just about see it, this yellow sofa here. I almost never sat on this because it became a dumping ground at the other side of my office. But now I sit here when we chat and I think it's like the perfect place to do it. The lighting's really good here other than my shiny forehead, but we're going to move past that. I really wanted to talk to you very briefly about the Kickstarter that is coming on the 10th of August. I'm so, so excited. I would have announced that on Instagram by the time this video goes out. So um, if you follow me over there, then you'll know by the time this video goes out. But... Pekka in Wonderland. I will put the kind of Kickstarter main image right here. All the spoilers because I just need to share it with you. I am so, so excited for this Kickstarter. I'm going to kind of go through everything next week, kind of go through things individually and share kind of the goals and a bit more about the decorations themselves. Yeah, that's what I've been working on this week so far, but... I'm just so excited for this. I'm absolutely terrified because it's quite a big Kickstarter, like the goals are quite big and I really struggle with imposter syndrome and when those voices start in your head, it can be really hard to kind of push through and things, but I'm doing my best and I feel like sitting down and actually kind of writing out the Kickstarter and things has helped my head a lot. Christmas decorations are coming. I know it sounds silly to talk about Christmas in August, or July as it is currently but for you to get your decorations in time that is just what's needed so I've ordered some samples for some packaging for them because I want them to be really luxury and just really nice so if you're gifting them to someone they can be like packaged really nicely for you to like wrap them or you could even give them how they are like that's my hope so I'm going to do my absolute best to make it so so special and I just know the decorations are going to be beautiful like visioning them in my head like when they actually arrive with me in their gold metal shiny sparkliness i just think i'm gonna love them so so much and i've ordered pins before and things so i know how pins work and pins look when it comes to like manufacturing so i've just kind of that's just being upscaled in a sense like these are going to be quite a bit bigger than an enamel pin so yeah also quickly my printer is working again so stickers are now available on my shop i just did a test print let me grab it this was the sticker before and this is them now they're exactly the same so i didn't need to worry about that essentially my printer broke it took me ages to get it sorted with canon but they thankfully they sent me a new print head and it's been working fine since so if you want to grab yourself stickers they are available in the shop that's kind of my quick updates for you i feel like i completely rushed through that even though i've been talking for six minutes I do have some orders to pack at my new packing station. They're all for the same thing, so it won't take me long to package them at all. And then I'm going to sort out my washi tapes because I got new boxes for them. Bit of packing, bit of organising. It's all content we enjoy, or at least I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it too. Um, but yeah, I'll chat to you in a bit and let me know what you think about the Kickstarter in the comments. <laughs>
So you may have noticed it's the next day. Um, I didn't do what I was meant to do yesterday. I got really caught up with Kickstarter stuff really. I have been trying to work out what size to do the loopholes on the decorations. Because obviously I've got to put a ribbon through them and I want to get quite a nice ribbon. So I've just been kind of playing around with things and the time disappeared. So I'm getting my orders done now. I did have another one come through last night for four pins. So that was really lovely. All of these orders have an every step is growth pin. There's four with one pin and one with four pins. So there's quite a good chunk of these going out today, which is really, really lovely. I was saying to my husband how I hadn't had an order in a little while and I was feeling a little bit deflated by it. Um, I think mostly my fault because I've been doing the office and I haven't been promoting things like I normally would be. So things were just a little bit quiet because of that. But this week I've had a little flurry of orders that come through so thank you so much if one of those has been you um it really really means a lot so I'm going to cut up my tissue paper now and pack them I probably won't show you that much of doing this because it's quite repetitive packing the same items but I think I'm just going to line, line them up write the thank you cards and then get them sealed up and packaged and everything so yeah Okay, so we have actually reached the end of the week, which is kind of crazy. I haven't shown you much at all this week, I don't think. I have just been on the computer so, so much. I am really tired and that makes picking up the camera a little bit hard because I don't always feel myself when I'm tired. I'm sure that's a very common thing. I haven't really had a chance to do any organizing, but I'm gonna do some now because it's something that's like on my brain and I know that if I do it, get it off my brain um i've got these tubs up here that i really want to sort let me grab them this is where it all falls on me isn't it okay so these are the tubs that i've got for my washi tape i did measure things wrong annoyingly on the shelf i took the measurement from the website and it was actually the full width of the Billy bookcase rather than the inside width, but that was my own fault. So I can only fit four next to each other. My hope was that I could have fit all five, but there's not much I can do about that now. <laughs> but I got these Wham Studio 
boxes from Danelm. They are £2.25 each, but these are perfect for storing my washi tapes now that I don't... Well, I feel like I could probably fit a whole restock in one of these as well. Like, it would have to balance them up, but I feel like that would work. Um, so I got these, and I need to peel off these little stickers and put my washi tape in them. And then I also got these from Danelm. These are... Uh, pen pots these were on sale from eight pound to four pound each and they are like metal i bought these for something specific because i saw them and i was like oh my gosh that'll be perfect i bought them for my bookmarks because i had them lined up just like laying down whereas now i've got these and to be honest you can fit like loads in one section so i could even put a separator and put more designs but i got three of these um because they were only four pound each and i thought why not um so i've separated everything into their own sections for now if i get more designs then i know that i can fit probably like a hundred bookmarks in each section i think that would be about right because there's there's around 50 here so yeah maybe even more than that these are my new little storage boxes i can peel this sticker off now um and there's like one on the bottom as well so these i don't think i would have paid eight pound for them that's a bit much i'm assuming it's because they're metal and even though they're not kind of the deli's designs yellow they are still kind of on the yellow spectrum which i still use um like mustards and things here and there so yeah i've got those i'm gonna unpack the washi tape now um but I'm feeling a little bit nervous, that's what I was going to talk about, because I'm like announcing the Kickstarter on Instagram today, like the theme of it. And I'm feeling really, really nervous. Um, there seems to be a bit of excitement, which is good, but excitement is really hard to judge whether those excitements will turn into pledges. Um, because obviously not everybody that likes the Kickstarter is going to be able to pledge for it. They are not going to be like the cheapest rewards in the world um and i am feeling a little bit nervous about it i'm just trying to remind myself that pins i put as like an eight pound seven or eight pound pledge on my kickstarter normally um and these decorations are only going to be 12 and these are so much bigger they're like three times bigger than most of the pins that i have in my shop um they're all around three inches in size so they're going to be really nice kind of sized decorations and they are going to be worth it they really are but it's just so scary because i just don't know what's going to happen it's a really scary thing but i'm just trying to focus my head into if i can just get one decoration unlocked that is amazing of course i'd love to get everything made and that's what the fight is really because if i don't do it i will probably feel a little bit deflated um but i've made sure to order the decorations kind of in my favorites hopefully other people's favorites as well of course it's going to kind of jump around in what people's favorites are everyone's going to have different kind of opinions and things but if i could just get that first gingerbread house unlocked i feel like that's like the dream decoration for me the one that i have been thinking about for almost a year not that exact design but the idea of a gingerbread house with some little gumdrops outside has been something that's been on my mind i'm a bit nervous i've got until 6 p.m it's currently midday i just want to make sure the post is ready to go make sure i know what i'm going to write i'm just announcing like i said the day that it's launching it's just a bit scary but i'm going to do some organizing now and hopefully that'll take my mind off it a little bit but yeah thank you for listening to me blab on about my nerves <laughs> it's just a big thing i don't know what to expect so yeah let's, let's do this because this is gonna calm my brain down.
apologies if the camera wobbles a little bit. I am kind of balancing you because I don't really have a smaller tripod anymore. I think I said months ago that I was going to get a new one, but I kind of worked my way around it. So I probably will get another one at some point. But anyway, there is a slight wobble, so I'm hoping <laughs> it's not too bad. But I've just sat at the computer. I've got my squash, which I've drank most of. But I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the vlog. I feel like I did my printer is working again thank goodness so stickers are back in the shop and i had a couple of orders yesterday which included some stickers which was really lovely but i think i need to make some so i'm gonna get my jar of stickers that i've got and go through the orders and see what i need to make if i don't need to make anything i probably won't i don't want to get too close to these orders needing to go out and realize that i need to make stickers and i have got to work out where i'm going to put the cricket so i have i do have plenty of space on the desk to put it to the side of me here but i also could put it on the packing desk so i just need to work out how i'm going to do that now i don't use the cricket machine all the time so it is just at the bottom of my shelving for now um, but I think I might move it here because then it is like right next to me, but it doesn't need to be there all the time. So yeah, I'm going to grab my little mug of stickers, which I can't, oh, there it is. I moved it and check what we've got. And then we might need to do some cricketing. Please excuse the random stuff everywhere on the desk. I was worried for a second because it's got all my Kickstarter stuff, but I shared all, I shared that with you at the beginning of the vlog, so I'm not too worried. I just need to clear everything up because I've been doing so much test printing. But this is my cut of stickers that I need to organise into this, but I just haven't got around to doing it yet. So I'm going to check what has been ordered and see if I've got it in my cup or in here. <laughs> okay, so Mel has ordered two of the vase stickers. I have a feeling those are the ones that I'm going to need to make. Um, I can't remember if I restocked them. I don't think I did. I think there's one here. And I feel like that is possibly the only one that I've got. I really need to kind of put these into their sections. There are just so many here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to need to make a vase one. So I'll just print a new sheet of those. Apparently I can't spell. St Stickters. Stickters. <laughs> Stickters to make. So I need to make some vases. And then Mel has also ordered the teapot. Now I feel like I've got teapots. I hope you guys are probably thinking, why have you not sorted these, Adele? And the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> I just haven't. Teapot, we got that. We've got a snail sticker, which I think is in here. Yeah, that one's fine. We've also got, I know I have more of these, the sailing my sticker and two of the hedgehogs i've got tulips i made more of those we need another vase sticker um head in the clouds i've got a sheet of those over there okay so the only thing i need to make is the vase um i'm just going to pop these back in my cup for now maybe this could be a plan for next week sorting all of these out so i'm going to get the cricket up and running now ready to pack those orders at some point um over the weekend so it is the same day i'm in a jumper though because it isn't so warm today which is crazy and i am definitely a jumper jeans person i just find it so comfy or jumper leggings anything soft really anyway i got on with my taxes some taxes stuff things that i've been putting off i just thought you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna sit and at least start things um so yeah i haven't really had that much to show you it's weird because 
I think because I was so proud of last week's studio vlog and like the studio transformation and just kind of the bits that we got up to in last week's studio vlog, if you haven't seen it by the way, please go and watch it. This just doesn't feel as good because of the previous one. I think because also it's been a lot of computer work this week, lots of Kickstarter planning and artwork and just working out different bits and bobs. I have announced the Kickstarter now. I've had some likes, I haven't had many comments, but I've had lots of kind of DMs and shares, which is really lovely. Um, and I'm hoping that when I actually share one of the designs or all the designs over next week, that that's when kind of all people will like interact and say like which their favorite is and things like that. So I am nervous as I keep saying, but I'm just doing my best to push through those nerves and the imposter syndrome and really just go for it and do my absolute best. Um, it's gonna be a three week Kickstarter, so it shouldn't be as exhausting, I'm hoping. I was thinking of doing two weeks, but when I launched it, I kind of wanted it to end around most people's paydays. Um, because if you don't know kickstarter is pledge now pay later so when the kickstarter ends if it's successful then people get charged like you don't get charged unless it's successful um so it would be nice to have it fall on most people's kind of paydays and things i'm sorry this hasn't been the most exciting vlog there is lots going on though next week i'm going to take you through all the kickstarter plans the designs individually and um kind of the goals and just a bit more info on that so if you're wanting to get involved in the kickstarter and make these decorations a reality then stick around for next week um but yeah i'm gonna head off now me and my husband are gonna have nacho and movie night gonna make a little date which should be nice anyway i'll chat to you guys next week i wish you the loveliest day and i'll speak to you next week repeating myself <laughs> bye